hello 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 welcome back to the channel i am chris the old school picker sales were really really slow this weekend but i do have some exciting news today that's right the shed's getting delivered stay tuned i'll tell you all about it I was saying in the intro eBay sales gotta get some lights on eBay sales are definitely slow uh, the last few days this weekend um, but the sheds here so I'm excited about that we'll go out and do a tour they're out there working on it right now so we'll we'll do a, do a tour an official tour of it once they get done um, but yeah, I'm excited about it. I uh, got a lot of work to do now. Now the ball's in my court, right? I can't blame, I can't blame them for it not being here. Now it's all on me. So, but we'll get it. Uh, it got here quicker than I thought. So I was expecting it not to get here till kind of the end of February. So now I've got plenty of time to get it done before yard sale season. So I'm excited about that. That was my goal have it completely up and running by april which is the yard sale season i expect a few yard sales in march so now i can go to them maybe <laughs> and get some stuff and load that thing up right that's what we got that's why i got it for to load it up i don't want it to sit there empty for sure you know i've got quite a bit of inventory but all this should fit in there easily so I should be able to double or triple my inventory. I'm hoping, I'm hoping to triple it, honestly, but we got to work on doubling it before we can triple it. So saying all that, let's pull some orders. I do have 10 going out today, so I am thankful for that. It has been slow, like I said, but I am thankful for the 10 I have. I think I have five media and five on the main account going out. I'll be glad to close that media page, honestly. And if you're wondering why I have two pages to begin with, well, when I first started the Media Vault page, um, you could only list with the store subscription that I have, you could only list a thousand free items. So anything over a thousand, it was charging me a listing fee. Well, back then I had like 1200 items listed on the main account. So I opened the second page just because it was cheaper. Well, now they have changed that store subscription to where you get 10,000 free listings. So it's just no need for me to have two accounts. So I will, once the shed gets here, be closing down the Media Vault page. That's the reason I'm doing that and putting everything over on the main account because I don't plan on ever having more than 10,000 listings. So I do plan on upping my game to... I, I think I need to have around two to 2,500 listings to get the daily sales that I plan on or want to have. So a lot of work ahead of me once the shed gets here. I'm not going to go crazy on listing until it gets here. I just don't have time. I don't have room. I don't have space. I just so I'm waiting for it to get here and get set up so probably about a month away from really really going crazy on listings but once it gets here once I get in it once it gets set up I will be doing a listing challenge like I have done in the past and I plan on I only have like 500 items listed on the main account so 500 listings I do have more items because I have multi quantity on some stuff but I do plan on taking that 500 listings and eventually getting it up to around 2,000, 2,500. That's the plan. Now, I may not be able to do that, and I really hope I can't because I hope I'm selling stuff quicker than I can list it. Right now, I don't have the inventory to get to that number, but spring's coming, so yard sale season will be here before you know it. So look for a lot of buying from me and a lot of listing in the next few months so just on hold for another month and i think i'll be ready but anyways we do have five on the main account going out 
and I'll go ahead and pull it first for $239. So we did have some good sales on there, just not enough of them. All right, the first one going out is in B1540. I just listed these the other day. That's this right here. And it is some game pieces for a game called Dragon Strike, which is a very, very good game. However, mine was not complete and it did not work. It has a motorized dragon on it and the dragon did not work. So I decided to list the pieces. I only paid like a couple of bucks for the game and I listed this lot. And I also listed, if you're familiar with that game, it, the base of the dragon is motorized and then it has a long neck and the neck's not motorized but i took the neck off and listed it as well and i think i listed it for like 15 bucks or something anyways i only had a couple of dollars in the game so i'm still making money in this little lot of pieces sold for 8.99 plus shipping when in doubt part it out i think i've heard that somewhere before shout out kevin commonwealth picker all right next item i have going out and i was super excited to sell this because <clears throat> not only is it a pretty good sale as far as money but it gets this another one of these game systems out of the way and this one is a heavy one so i know they paid up for shipping i did take a best offer on it i think i list had it listed for 129 bucks i think and it is it's an original xbox yes original xbox with several games i put a controller in it a couple of controllers in it and all the cords you can see the cords down there and there's the xbox if you're familiar with these old xbox machines man they're heavy they are both anchors cheap games i don't know how many games uh, 11 11 games i'll put a picture up but you still won't be able to see the games probably but they're all cheap games but just something i had laying around in my death pile uh that video game death pile i still have a few left i've not listed them all by no means i've still got a few left and i need to lit that's going to be something i list in the as soon as i get set up in the shed ebay shop shop let me know what you guys think about the ebay shop as the name i don't want to use shed and i don't want to use cabin uh because of kevin and lonnie but shop is what i'm gonna call it i believe i'll still use the word shed because that's what it is it is a shed so but anyways i took a best offer on this bundle for a hundred bucks plus shipping so i was glad to get that sale if i hadn't had that sale <laughs> this weekend would have been really bad all right next item i have going out is another viewmaster this came out of the Viewmaster lot I bought of all the Viewmasters and all the reels. Paid like 30 bucks for the lot, I think, 25, something like that. 20, 25, I don't know. It was somewhere in that range. It actually came in a bundle of other stuff I bought down to 411. Anyways, I've made a ton of money on this stuff. If you guys have been watching my channel, you know that. And this one sold for 11.99 plus shipping. This is one of the older ones. And it's it's a Sawyer's Viewmaster. I think that's like the, there it is. I think that's like the original company or something that made them. If I can get my shadow out of the way. But yeah, these sell pretty good. This one wasn't in the greatest shape. It's got a little bit of a rattle in it, but 11.99 plus shipping. I love this Viewmaster stuff. I hope I can find a big lot of it again. Hopefully this summer. All right, here's something else that came in a, big lot of stuff i bought it is this clip on antenna for um i think it's for a cb yeah for a cb and this came in a lot of stuff i bought at a yard sale towards the end of the year and i just listed it a few weeks ago this is one of the last things i've listed actually and this little guy and i had no money in it i think i paid like fifteen dollars for the whole box of stuff so it, i mean it was a big box of cb equipment and stuff like that mics i don't know it had like four mics in it and i've sold them for like 15 bucks a piece anyways this little antenna sold for 24.99 plus shipping it's actually one of the better sales out of the box 
and I wasn't even really, when I bought the stuff, I was really buying it for the CB mics. I still have some stuff left to list in that middle tub there from that buy. All right, so I did manage to sell one Dungeons and Dragons book this week, or this weekend. So that's good. And as I've said before, these things ain't the quickest sellers, but for what I paid for them, and for the money they do sell for once they sell, they're great. And this one is the Advanced Dungeons and Dragons Dungeon Master's Guide. This one is one of the older ones, I believe. Yes, not, it's the revised edition from 1979. I don't know, just a bunch of information, nerd stuff as I call it. Uh, I don't know, I have no idea. This one don't have any pictures and stuff in it. I'm one of those that I like to look at the pictures. There's one. Pretty wild stuff. But just reference guides to the game, I guess. Anyways, I took a best offer on this one for 30 bucks plus shipping. Good, good sale. And if you don't know, I have 30 cents in that guy. So that's a good sale. All right, let's pull the media vault page. I have five on it going out as well. It'll just take a second. All right, the first one going out is a CD. Uh, still selling these guys. Came in the huge classical music CDs I bought uh, last summer, I guess it was. And this one I took the best offer on it as well for $3.50 plus shipping. All right, sold some football pins. It's kind of weird that, uh, sold four of these guys. It's kind of weird that now that football season's over, these things are selling better towards the end of the year and season's over than they was during the season, so it's weird. But the first one I have going out is a Raiders pin. And I swear I've sold several of the Raiders pins, and that's the one I can never seem to find. There it is. So a Raiders pin from Coca-Cola. And these are owed. They're from 1986. So I sold a Raiders pin for $5.99 plus shipping. Then I sold another Kansas City Chief. A Kansas City Chief. And actually she bought two. And guess who they're going to? Once again, another viewer sale, guys. Kathy, I appreciate it so much. She left me a note. She lit, She bought four of the, I think it was last week, for her sisters. And she wrote me a note on these two. I forgot to order a pen for my mother and brother-in-law who also live in Kansas City. So I will be sh sending you a shipping discount for two. I can ship two for what I can ship one for. And, uh... Total order, not counting shipping, was $11.98 plus shipping. Thank you so much again, Kathy. I hope your family, your brother-in-law, and, and your mom enjoy these. Uh, appreciate it so much. Kathy has been a huge supporter of the channel. She actually bought me five more coffees the other day as well. I almost forgot. So that brings the coffee total. I don't know. I'll have to put it up on the screen, but I'm getting really close to the $500 goal I set back. I'm be honest with you i just put the goal in because it kept asking me to put a goal in i was like okay 500 bucks i never thought i would get there but i think i'm at like 405 dollars to the goal and all that money i'm just putting toward buying stuff for the shed she i think she wrote on there it buy a couple of shelves for the shed and the time before it was buy a few nails and so thank you kathy i actually went and bought some nails the other day so uh, just trying to buy some stuff up ahead of it getting here. So thank you so much, Kathy. It's great. I'm super, super excited about the shed getting here. But it's great seeing everybody else uh, excited about it. I've had so many comments from people telling me how excited they were for me. I appreciate that so much. I do. Um, that's awesome. So, Kathy, thank you so much. I hope your family enjoys all the pins I've sent them. I only have 13 more of the Kansas City Chiefs pins so yeah they've sold pretty good and i have one more pin going out and it is the old super bowl champions the los angeles rams well yeah they're the los angeles rams now right but at one time they were st louis and 
whoever all they've been. But anyways, this one's going out and it sold for $5.99 plus shipping. I have 22 of that one left. I expect to sell a few more now that the Super Bowl's over. We'll see. And the last order I have going out is another one of these Sonic cards. These are so cool. I bought a huge, well, like 20 of them at a thrift store of all places not too long ago for like a couple of bucks. And this one is Sonic Chaos Game Gear number 9 of 14. I sh could have just loaded them up, but I had doubles of a lot of them. So I just listed all of them separately. And this one sold for $7.99 plus shipping. All right, that's it for my sales. How much was on the main, the media vault page? The media vault page was 56 bucks. So almost $300 in sales. That don't look like $300 for sure, but that right there was a hundred and that was 30. So that's about half of it right there. Plus that was 25. So yeah, if eBay gets any slower, it's gonna be bad, right? So, but I expect it to. And I can't blame eBay. Uh, I know a lot of people is blaming eBay right now for slow sales. And I'll be honest, when every time eBay does a, an update and they just came out with their winter update a few weeks ago, it seems like it tanks the site and tanks sales for a while. And it takes a while to everything to get clicking again. That's been my experience over the last 20 years. So, uh, yeah. But most of it, as I was saying, most of it's my fault. I've just not been listing. I've not had time. And I don't have the greatest of in inventory to list. And when you don't have great inventory, it's a struggle to get motivated to list. But most of it's just been a time thing. And I've been preoccupied with getting the shed here. So I hope my neighbors don't need out of their house anytime soon because um, we got the road completely blocked right here. So he's going to get the mule, hook it up to the shed, and put it in my backyard. Should be a lot easier with the mule instead of the truck. And here it comes. It's on its way. crazy what these mules can do. Talk about having the right equipment for the job. That's it right there. I do have him a couple of obstacles back here where I dug the fence up. Where I dug the fence up, there's some pretty good size holes where the posts were and I didn't fill them back in. I was hoping he could just avoid them. So he said he could, so we'll see. About to, you can probably see that one hole right there. He's about to come up on it. I'll get back out here in front of him here in just a second. But he's about halfway already. All right, so we had to fill in a couple of the holes for his trailer to get through here. But I think it's going to work now. have room to spare. Checking the holes. You can see the holes we had to fill in. He actually missed this one. He actually missed that one too, but we wanted to make sure that way his trailer didn't get stuck in there or his the mule. Pretty big holes actually so should have probably already had that done but I didn't but it's almost in place guys another probably 10 foot all right it's pretty much in place so there it is he's going to go get his truck and back up here because that's where he's got all his block so to keep from having to walk but I've done a little bit of a walk around the other day and uh but we'll get in it once he gets it set up and stuff. He's still got his mule running because he'll use it to level up, I'm sure. But that's pretty much its final destination right there. 
other than getting off the trailer. So wanted to leave enough room over here to suck and mow one good time. And uh, that's pretty, pretty good right there. I like that. All right, just an update. We're putting some block in, getting it all leveled up. Shouldn't take long. He's working on leveling it. It's gonna be a little higher in the back end than I was thinking, but not that. All right, guys, she's here. Um, he was here about an hour and 45 minutes. So not long at all. Now it's gonna be echoey in here for a while. I'm sure until I get it filled up or get some stuff in it for sure. But here it is, 12 by 20. Looks good, it's exactly what I ordered. Now I gotta get to work, right? So, but I'm loving the loft. Uh, my internet cable came in today, so my Cat 5e internet cable, so that was good. So it's, I'll bury it when I bury my power line. I gotta, I'm gonna come off my house with the power, so it won't be far, 20, 30 foot. But yeah, I'm excited about it. Excited to get it here for sure. It's it's been a long time coming it seemed like but it's actually just this friday i think will be just like four weeks since i ordered it so not bad at all i actually went ahead and went to lowe's um right after he left it's been a couple hours since he left uh, but i'm just now getting out here and recording the recording the, this part of the video but i went to lowe's actually and went ahead and bought me a piece of vinyl rug um to lay down and this just lays down. You don't glue it or anything. It's big enough and thick enough to where it just lays down. And it's a wood pattern, like a brownish wood, but it's, it's more like a barn wood. I'm not real sure how good you can see it on camera, but uh, I may go ahead and lay that today, this evening. I'm gonna spread it out, open it up and spread it out and let, it, let the sun warm it up. I used to actually lay flooring for a living. I've done that for about two years, so. I have a little experience laying that stuff, but I didn't want anything. I know Lonnie done the pill and stick and stuff and had a lot of trouble with it. I didn't want anything like that. And I really didn't want to glue anything. I wanted something that just laid. So that should be good. And uh, so, yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna record in this video, but thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Lots more shed videos coming up and uh, so stay tuned. Uh, I'll try to record a little bit of my progress pretty much every day, but uh, it may take me a while to get some of the videos out because I got a lot of work to do. So, but I'm gonna try to keep doing two or three videos a week. But as soon as it gets done, it's it's go time for eBay and YouTube. So we'll see. Uh, a lot of work to do. Thank you guys for watching so very much. Hope you enjoyed my sales. They were slow, but. That's all right. I'm excited about this and to move to the next step in my business. So thank you guys for watching so very much. Old school pickers out.